Hi guys, in this video I just want to cover some more um, data acquisition visual configuration. Um, so namely in this video, resizing, moving, deleting, selecting uh, what we call panes. Basically what this refers to is, I'll just show you an example. So I have my little alarm section which, which automatically comes up uh, down the bottom here. But uh, the position of these isn't necessarily restricted. So I'm doing these videos on a, on a laptop, but most control rooms have multiple screens. Data acquisition is spread out over multiple screens. You have a lot more real estate in terms of space to deal with. So it's definitely worth taking the time to set up a nice layout where everything is exactly where it should be, which is wherever you want it to be effectively. So if I just hold my mouse button down on this little toolbar here, uh, I can actually resize this to all kinds of different spots. So previously it was just sitting here, which I can put it back to by putting it over that little, uh, this little box, or I could put it on the left hand side here. I can put it on the top, on the right. That's basically the process. Um, I'm just going to get rid of alarms now and give you some other examples of things that you might do. Um, so for example, I could have, well, I, I would like to have alarms on the bottom and then just shrink it down. So I can only see a few of those. Then I would like to make sure that my people are on the left hand side. And although I could have them on the right hand side as well, I think that's another good option. So I'll have the people on the right hand side of the screen. I'll have my equipment on the left hand side. Uh, I like this, but I think you're starting to get the idea of how you can position these, um, these token selectors uh, however you like. So I might put a panel section there as well so I can add new panels if I want to or alternatively I could put panels up the top I don't quite like that anyway that's the idea right you can take any of these little boxes that we have in this view section um, and you can select them up the top and then drag them to various positions you can also have them just freeform like you don't necessarily need to um, stick them into one of these little pop-up boxes for a position. Can just have it sitting out in the open. I mean, that looks terrible to me, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, another thing that's quite useful is you can actually restore to a like a default layout um, if you end up completely butchering the uh, the layout or you can't find something in particular. So I'll just give an example. Um, I'll take my equipment box and I'll shrink it down to being tiny and then I'll put it out in the middle of nowhere where I'm unlikely to be able to find it. I mean, these things do happen. Um, now I have no idea where my equipment is, right? It's, it's hiding down here, but I can't find it hypothetically. It's still enabled, right? And then I can hide it or select it again and it comes back, but I'm never going to find it. So I can just restore default layout. And what that does is basically it takes all, it, it restores all of these little panels into a, into a default setup. So you can see everything's enabled and everything is accessible. Right, so I've got my people, my locations, my equipment. Everything's back in a somewhat normal position from here. This is a very, very useful button. This, it's also worth noting that this will not upset your panel or canvas configurations at all. It's only this section, right? So all my panels are exactly the same. All my canvases are exactly the same. You don't need to worry about that being reset. It's just these little draggable boxes that get changed. Okay, cool. Um, thank you for listening.